Well, hello everybody and welcome to Collective Worship. I'm the Reverend Rich Townend. Um, I work for a church in Bridlington and I'm also the father of Jasmine in class four. Um, I've been looking at your school values and last week you'll remember that we looked at the value of friendship. Can you remember what the other two school values are that we might be looking at this week? That's right, there's two more. There is trust and there is care. And the value we're going to be looking at today is care. You will notice next to me I have a friend with me today and I'm going to tell you a little while later why I've got Taffy, the sausage dog, with me. Taffy is our family dog. But firstly, I wonder if you can think about the people that care for you. Perhaps it's uh, your parents, perhaps it's your grandparents that care for you, that look after you. Sometimes it's probably a bit of both. And of course your teachers care for you as well, they look after you too. And all those, those other staff at school. Now I want you to think about the people or, or the things, perhaps the animals, that you care for. Put your hands up, please, if you care for a younger brother or sister. I'm sure lots of hands have gone up there. Put your hands up, please, if you maybe care for your grandparents. Perhaps your parents help to look after your granny and granddad. And finally, put your hands up, please, if you are involved in caring for an animal, for a pet. Well, that's why I've brought Taffy along with us today, to show you that actually he's our family dog, but he does need a lot of caring for. He's quite sleepy. He does a lot of sleeping. But when he's not sleeping, we've got to make sure he does other things. What kind of things do you think I need to do to show that I care for Taffy, my very sleepy sausage dog? What kind of things would I need to do? Perhaps if you just pause the video, you can ask in the class. Right then, well, I'm hoping that you've got the same answers that I have because I can't communicate with you. I think, I think we should have the same things. So one of the things I have to do for Taffy is, of course, I've got to feed him. We feed him in our house once a day and sometimes he has more food as well. Sometimes he gets seconds. So we've got to make sure we feed him. The second thing is it's important that when he's had his, his, his food, he also gets regular exercise, so we take him out for walks around the village. Okay, and make sure he gets plenty of exercise to keep him fit and healthy. Another thing, perhaps you haven't noticed this one, uh, perhaps you didn't get this one, we've got to groom him. Um, sometimes people take their dogs to get them properly groomed. You can get grooming parlours, but there's other things you need to do for them as well, like you need to uh, make sure that they're um, their claws are clipped, so that's something I need to do. And I've noticed today on Taffy that I could maybe do with doing that later on. And the final thing is, we need to make sure we keep our pets clean. And this is why I've got a towel. Taffy hates having a bath. It's the worst time of his life. He really dislikes it. But dogs do get a bit smelly, don't they? And it's important that after they've had, a, they've had a long walk and they're covered in mud and they're maybe a bit stinky, that we give them a chance to have a wash. And I think that's something we're going to have to do later for him as well. He won't look forward to that. In our story today that we're going to watch now, it's a story that involves somebody showing care for somebody else. But actually, the care comes from somebody that you wouldn't expect it to. We're going to watch this uh, short video and then we're going to have a chat about that.
I hope you enjoyed watching that video. Taffy didn't watch the story. He's still fast asleep and resting here in his den. But now I'm going to tell you a little bit more about what the story was about. So that story was a modern version of a story from the Bible, a story called the parable of the Good Samaritan. Now there's some words in there that you might not understand. Firstly, parable, that's a strange word, isn't it? And secondly, Samaritan. So hopefully, when, when I've finished this uh, collective worship in a few minutes, you will be able to explain what those two words are. Firstly, the parable of the Good Samaritan. This is a story Jesus told. Parable means story. It's just a word in the Bible that means the same thing as telling a story. And Jesus told lots of stories to explain um, to people about how they should lead a good life. And in this case, the story was all about how we should care for others. So that's what a parable is. It's a story. Now, can you remember who were the, um, the characters in that story? So the first person that we saw was the, the, the man, um, or the character who was walking along the road, but he came across some rather nasty characters that, um, well, they beat him up, didn't they? It wasn't very kind at all, and they left him in the road. And then what happened next was some people stopped to see what was going on. Can you remember how many there were? There was one, two, there were three different people that stopped to see the man in the road. Now, I would like to think that if that happened to me, somebody would help me. But did the first two people stop and help? No, they didn't stop and help, did they? And actually, in the story of the Good Samaritan in the Bible, Jesus said that the first person was a priest. And that's what I do. That's my job. I wear a dog collar because I'm a vicar, which is the same as a priest. But did the priest stop to help? No, the priest didn't stop to help. And that's very sad because I think my job is all about helping people. And then the second person came along. And that second person was something in the Bible called a Levite, which again was somebody who was very religious, somebody who should have been doing the right things. And I would think in our world today, we might think of someone like a teacher. Teachers do the right things, don't they? Most of the time, I'm sure. Um, but your teachers are there to help you. But did this Levite, did this uh, Jewish teacher, did they help the man who was in the road who needed help at that time? No, they didn't help either. And they walked on, on their own way. Now, the third and final person that came, you might have noticed the music changed. And it seemed like this was quite a sinister, dark character. And I was kind of thinking something bad, something else bad is going to happen here. But actually, what that person was, was they were a Samaritan. Now, a Samaritan is a person from a country near Israel. At the time of Jesus, there was a place called Samaria. And the Samaritans were from there. Now, the Israelites... And the Samaritans, they really didn't like each other. And Jesus was talking to the Israelites. And he was telling them that actually of all the people to stop and help the man in the road, it wasn't the priest, it wasn't the Levite, it was actually the Samaritan, who was often seen as an enemy. It was the enemy that stopped to help the man in the road. And what Jesus was trying to teach his people there is that when we are showing care, it's important that, of course, it's important we show we care to the people that love us. Um, it's important that teachers show their care. It's important that, that, that parents care and grandparents care and we care for our dogs and we care for our brothers and sisters. But the Bible also teaches us to care for the people that we don't get on very well with. And that's one of the reasons why I love the teachings of the Bible. It encourages me to do things in a different way, to think about um, my life in, in a way that would please God. And actually, it makes me happy to try and lead my life like that. I'm not always very good at it, but I'll do my best to try. And I just wonder, 
this week as we go on from here, who is it that you will be showing your care to? Let's say a little prayer together. Let's put our hands together and we bow our heads to show that we're entering a holy space now where we can pray and talk to God. So, dear God, we thank you that you care for us and we ask that you will help us to care for others. Help us to care for the people that we love, but help us to care for the people that we don't always love. And we know that by caring for them, we can actually show your love for them too. And we pray our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, everybody. It's been great to be here with you again. Well, I say here, I'm in my house and you're in school, but hopefully I will get to meet you sometime soon. You might even see me picking up uh, Jasmine sometime at school. You might even see our dog, Taffy, at some point too. Now, he's still not woken up, but I think it's because he's heard me talk about his bath and he really doesn't want to have a bath, does he? Goodbye, everybody. God bless.